Here we go. Who's going to get the early start? I think it's Ashlyn by about an inch, but Daniel's right behind him. Oh, Ashlyn's flying up the wall. It's not a wall, it's a cliff. It's so high, and there he goes, onto the bar and down to the U-bar. Now it's Ashlyn just ahead on the pole. Now the beam, you've got to be careful here. They're taking their time. Oh, it's shaky. Oh, Ashlyn. Oh, oh, no. Daniel's gone down. That beam is supposed to break off for safety reasons. Ashlyn holds on. I think you'll find that Ashlyn Herbert is going to close this thing out and do it. Although here comes Daniel Mason. Daniel is flying up that pole. Ashlyn now onto the swinging bars. This is his go-to. Although Daniel's making a great run at it. Ashlyn Herbert gets the swing, moves across the bars. Oh, he hits the buzzer. Yes. It's Ashlyn Herbert oh, by no. about one second. That was incredible. It really, really was. Two wow. amazing athletes. Ashlyn Herbert, the first ninja to hit the buzzer on the power tower on Australian Ninja Warrior. That was incredible. Ashlyn banks a crucial 10-second time advantage, and that puts him in the driving seat in the semi-finals. The barefoot ninja was down on the bottom of the mat and somehow resurrected himself and came within a whisker of hitting that buzzer. And you know what? That just shows you, you never give up. Always keep yourself in the game. Well done to Ashlyn Herbert.